Hello everyone, this is Elamon. I'm the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. Today I'll be talking about how to use Office Compatibility Mode in Google Sheets to edit Microsoft Excel documents. This is kind of a big deal because usually in Google Sheets, and this is the Google Sheets interface right now, when you're using Google Sheets, just in the ordinary version, it's on, let's say, Internet Explorer or Firefox, you can look at Excel documents, but if you want to edit anything, you have to convert it to a Sheets document. So uh, here's an example where I have the original Excel document here. You can see it has the Excel symbol, and then it, I converted it to Sheets uh, in order to do some actual editing of it. But there's actually a way to edit Excel documents within Sheets with some limitations, and I'll explain what they are. First of all, in order to do this, you need to be using Google Chrome. You cannot use another browser such as Internet Explorer or Safari, Microsoft Edge, or any other uh, browser that you might be using. It needs to be Chrome, and you need to have a special extension installed in Chrome in order to make this work. Uh, if you go to the Chrome Windows menu and choose extensions, you'll see a list of all the extensions that you have installed. Here are my extensions, and if I scroll down, I have an extension called Office Editing for Docs, Sheets, and Slides. This is made by Google to use in, in Google Chrome so you can edit these documents, uh, whether it's a, a, a Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel or PowerPoint. But it's an extra step to install it. You might have installed it already and you forgot about it. If you, if you uh, don't have it, if you don't see this in your list of extensions, just Google this, Office Editing for Docs, Sheets, and Slides, or, or uh, Google uh, Office Compatibility Mode and then install the extension in Chrome. It, this extension will not work in Firefox, Internet Explorer, etc. Okay, so let's say that you have it installed and then you're going around Google Sheets and you see that, all right, here is a Excel document. I want to open that thing. Or here's a better one, uh, paying down 200K mortgage dash uh, XLSX. So this is an Excel document that I actually used for one of my other books about personal finance. And I have this, I have this, um, mortgage example where I'm starting off to I'm paying it down and here's the different amounts associated with each month going forward I think 30 years in advance at a six percent rate now you'll see that this is an Excel document it's shown by this Excel symbol up here but I can actually do a little bit of limited editing here so like right now I see that the the numbers are a little bit too big for the column the way it's rendered so if I want to change the font size I all I have to do is just go up here and then Choose a smaller font. And hey, I'm editing the document. It's worth pointing out that I can do simple edits. So if I wanted to, I could, you know, uh, italicize everything in the header. Uh, or I could just change the fill color or whatever. Some other very simple things. But sophisticated editing is not possible using Office compatibility mode in Chrome. You also can't do things like start to mess around a lot with the adding charts or doing sorting or anything like that. So it's basically very, very simple formats that you can that you can use. There's a few other options up here, you know, wrapping text, merging cells, but it's otherwise it's really limited. However, if you just need to go in and make a couple formatting edits or just take a look at something and maybe mess around with a couple numbers, you can do that with an Excel document in Google Chrome uh, for Google Sheets without having to actually buy Microsoft Excel, which is a big deal for a lot of people because it's expensive. One other thing worth mentioning, sharing. If you click the sharing button up here, even though it displays it here, you'll get a message that, oh, you need to save it as Google Sheets if you actually want to collaborate with anybody. So that's a little bit of a kind of a misleading thing about the share button there. But just for basic stuff, it's perfectly fine. If you want to know more about how to use Google Sheets or any other program in the Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Office Suite, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. It's available from in30minutes.com. And thanks a lot for watching.